All right, today we are working on a 2013 Max Force 9 engine. This is actually a continuation video. There's two other parts to this repair. And if you didn't get a chance to watch those other two videos, don't worry, I got your back. Down below in the description, I'll put links to part one and part two if you wanna go back and watch them. And just so you know what to expect in this video, we're gonna be installing a new EGR cooler. We're gonna be replacing the high pressure turbo center section. And we're gonna be reinstalling the turbocharger assembly on the engine. So let's get to it. I already reinstalled the oil cooler module housing as well as the crankcase breather assembly. I didn't get to get those on video, but right now I'm gonna be installing the new EGR cooler. But first, I'm removing these fade rings. These rings right here is what seals the EGR cooler to the exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold has eight of these rings and these rings come with the new EGR cooler, it comes in a kit. And to install these rings, there is a special tool, but I don't have it. So what I do is I just slip one side into the groove and push the rest of it in there. That's it. I do that with all eight of them. And just like a piston ring, you want to make sure that none of the gaps line up. All right, got them all installed. Now let's install the EGR cooler. All right, got everything lubricated to make the installation go smoothly. It's EGR cooler pipe, has assembly grease as well as the exhaust manifold, and the EGR cooler as well. All right, time to mount this EGR cooler. And before mounting the EGR cooler to the exhaust manifold, you want to make sure that you slip in the two bottom mounting bolts because if not, you'll have clearance issues. The frame gets in the way. So what I do is I just set it on top of the oil cooler, close to where it's going to be mounted. Then I lift up the front of the EGR cooler, slip the front bolt in, and then do the same thing to the rear. This cooling pipe goes from the EGR cooler to the front cover, and right now it's not installed in the front cover or the EGR cooler. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to slip it inside the EGR cooler along with this other cooling pipe. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slip it inside the EGR cooler. Then I'm going to move the EGR cooler forward until the other end of the pipe is installed in the front cover. Then I will install the other side of the EGR cooler on the exhaust manifold. And this is not the only way to install this EGR cooler. And maybe it's not even the easiest. This is just my gen. That's how I like to install it. Got the five pound dead blow hammer by Olsa Tools. Give it a couple of taps. Finish installing it. All right, got all the bolts started, ready to torque down. Just want you to see the coolant pipe on the front cover. Everything else is set in place as well. Just gotta put the bolts on there. I'll be good to go. All right, time to replace the high pressure turbo center section. Now to replace it, you don't have to have the turbo charger assembly off of the truck, but it was already off because of the EGR cooler replacement. So that's why I'm doing it here on the table. It's a lot easier for you to see as well. And I already tried to be gentle with it. I was using a dead blow hammer and a smaller hammer to try to get it out. Even used a chisel to try to separate the turbo and it's on there solid. So I had to bring out Big Bertha. Notice the damage on the exhaust turbine wheel. It's all chewed up. And the turbo housing itself was not damaged. So that's good. I'll be able to reuse it. Now let's install the new high pressure turbo center section. What's up, man? Not mighty. <laughs> hey, you're on camera. Hey, uh, can you do me a favor when you get a chance? Yeah. I love you forever and infinity, so that means even more. What about when you get a chance? You got it, Papa. Thank you. All right, time to install the turbocharger assembly. Then we'll torque everything down. Got the turbo all torqued down, now let's install the turbo oil supply line.
If you're still watching, it's very much appreciated. I'll try to record as much of the repair process as I can, but that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you give it a like, comment, and also hit that notification bell for the next one. Thanks for watching.